Hi, Scarlet Envy here from RuPaul's Drag Race. I am a drag artist and today I'm a professor. So bring me an apple. I have come, I think, a long way sitting here in Soho at the Mac Pro store because I am a little gay boy from Kentucky. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I love the supermodels of the 80s and the 90s. Brooke Shields specifically is someone that I model my eyebrows after. I think that it's fair to acknowledge how important outer beauty is. So I do think that compassion and empathy are very important traits and beautiful qualities qualities to have, but at the end of the day, we all want to look beautiful on the outside too, girl. A little 24-hour long, long wear foundation goes a long way, you know what I mean? Little plastic hair, some hairspray, and a good attitude. Okay, so we're going to start today with, well, let's, let's talk about what we're doing. We're going to do a drag face, so we're going to take care of our skin, right? This is the Studio Moisture Cream, which is just like a good thing to start with. You know, you of course you wanna, I've already washed my face, I've already kind of cleaned my face, shaved and everything. I shaved my chest for you today, so this is like a big deal. I know that sometimes we're all in a rush, um, but take the time, take care of your skin, and it will thank you later. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair back um, because she, definitely gets in the way of a good time. Uh, we will get to the wig eventually, okay? This is crowning jewels. Um, I wanna make sure that my eyebrows are totally uh, clean, uh, uh, free from oils and anything else that might be in there. They're not gonna be filled in or anything like that because the only product that I'm gonna be using today that's not MAC is the glue that I put my brows down with. Now, of course, when Mac throws out a purple disappearing Elmer's glue stick, I'll be the first one to snatch her up. But until then, we're just gonna be in elementary school with the classic purple disappearing. So I take half of my eyebrow away. We're gonna take about that much of it out. Um, I'm just gonna speed through this because uh, let's get to the glamour. You want it to be as smooth as possible. We're going for that like glassy skin finish. We also don't want any texture here because we will be highlighting this part of the brow bone. About halfway through the layers of glue, we're going to just kind of dab with our finger a little bit of water along the edges of where we've put the glue. So we're gonna multitask a little bit because you know we are queens, we are busy, we have things to do, we have worlds to conquer today. So let's kind of double dip. While these are drying, I'm gonna come in with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is just a great base to the skin. Give you that 24 hour moment because sometimes you know you're out for longer than you thought you were gonna be. So the first powder that we're gonna be using, and this is gonna be our very best friend for any kind of drag makeup, is going to be this Invisible Setting Powder. Now drag makeup, when you kind of boil it down to um, a science, which should never be done, but if we're gonna be doing that, it's all about kind of cutting things with creams, and anytime you're gonna do that, you're gonna obviously wanna set it with a powder. So right now, I'm just gonna take this on a, on a powder puff, and quite literally push it into the eye. I am gonna do one more layer of glue on top of this powder to just really make sure that it is set. As this final layer of glue on my eyebrows dries, I'm gonna start color correcting because we have prepped the skin, we've given it a few minutes to kind of sink in and sit in. And I'm gonna start with Genuine Orange by the Paint Sticks. So let's quickly go in here with this. I'm just putting it directly on the skin and I'm just putting it on my problem areas, which is just the areas that go blue the fastest, which is just kind of my beard area. If you do have any kind of dark circles under the eyes, you can put it there as well. And again, we're just going to set this with the same neutral setting powder. We are gonna go in with Studio Fix Fluid. This is what I found is the best for me. Someone told me once, in terms of drag makeup, you really wanna get your canvas basically all the same color first. I know I'm not fooling anybody, but you know, we're trying to fool somebody. So we're gonna start my highlighting process now, and again, we're gonna go back to these paint sticks that I love so much. This one is in pure white. Um, this is a great 
way to start kind of marking out, and again, I'm just putting this directly on the face, where we want our highlights to be. I'm just kind of highlighting my T-zone, and kind of down here, where I'm gonna cut my contour. Maybe a little bit here too, just so that my skin matches. The same thing in NW43, it's just kind of like this nice warm brown. This is actually my favorite part of the process when I just kind of look crazy. Um, I'm just shaving down what should be shaved down and uh, that makes it sink back and kind of creates a shadow that's not really there. And then of course for the highlights, it's gonna bring the face forward, it's gonna pop, it's gonna hit that light. Um, and again, I'm just using these directly on my face, even on my nose, which, you know, this might be a little controversy, but I'm gonna put this directly on my nose here. We're gonna buff all this out with a beauty blender, of course. It's time to check up on these eyebrows, make sure that they are exactly what we need them to be. I'm gonna go in with one more little layer here of the translucent powder. I wanna make sure that the eyebrows are fully covered and ready. And this is speaking volumes for the Studio Fix foundation. Um, to be able to cover an eyebrow like that with one application is insane. I'm going to hit my brow bone with this pure white paint stick again because this is of course one of the areas that will be highlighted. Um, I'm just taking a beauty blender and starting with my dark contour of my cheek because this is always what I contour the most extreme. By the way, I use this side of the beauty blender for my dark contour and this side of the beauty blender for my light contour. Honestly, it was probably like a year after I filmed Drag Race that I even discovered what a beauty blender was. Um, so consider the source today. I used to use those terrible <laughs> like sponges that are like in the shape of triangles. And I was like, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. Um, take it from me, it is not the same thing. So um, I'm just kind of going in and highlighting a little bit extra where I have buffed out some of it. For something like a nose contour, you also really wanna take your time. No matter how many times you do it, one small mistake can really throw the whole nose off. I mean, we've all seen botched. We don't want to go for that. I guess it is worth mentioning that I am using the liquid foundation and the sticks, um, and that's totally fine. They're working beautifully together. Now, while this is sitting on my face, I'm gonna go in with my Prep and Prime lip stick. This just kind of softens the lip and really gets it ready for layers. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my God, do you ever just, do you ever just look at yourself and say, how gorgeous is she? Oh my God, is that just me? Okay, <laughs> maybe it's just me. I'm just going out for groceries anyway, it's fine. So again, we're just kind of taking this neutral, invisible setting powder, kind of taking it with our applicator, tapping it into the skin. You can tell that I'm kind of hitting my T-zone and my beard area first, kind of working my way up into the contours of my forehead here. Baking is an old school term uh, that we use when we're basically kind of layering powders on like this, and we just kind of let them sit there. And we let it bake into the skin, um, and it really just like, lo it, it helps to lock your liquids onto the face. So, you know, between numbers, you know, you go backstage at the drag show, you see the girls doing a lot of this, where they're basically just kind of letting this powder sit here for that short break that they have, and then they'll kind of knock it off and go do number three, you know what I mean? So for now, we can just let that sit. We are gonna go in with another layer on the eyebrow. Another great drag product from MAC is this Shivering White Studio Fix Foundation Powder. It is a pressed powder. It is incredible coverage, and it's gonna give you that white pop 
on the face that almost every drag queen needs. I'm gonna knock off our little um, baking moment. And I'm just gonna press this into the areas that need to be highlighted. I'm gonna continue with my Studio Fix powder. Um, this time we're gonna bump it down from the white and we're gonna do NW13, which is a little closer to just like my skin tone. Okay, now we're gonna continue with the powder contours. Um, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of bronzer, also with this brush, which is a 116S. I like this because it does have a little bit of a reflect in it, pulling it all the way back here behind the ear. Um, we've all seen the girl who doesn't match her foundation shade. You don't wanna be her. So we're gonna pay a little bit more attention to the eyebrow now. Um, I do teach a class for TCA on eyebrows and a good helpful tip that we talk about is basically the three dot system, which is putting a angle brush like this gorgeous 208S here on the face, just kind of barely touching the nostril. We are going to dot it here and then we're gonna angle it out. We're gonna dot it here in the middle of it and we're gonna angle it out farther and we're gonna do it here. You basically just connect the dots and make it as thick as you want. People do say eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Um, sometimes my eyebrows are just tenants that live in the same building. Basically, we're just kind of thickening the brow. Honestly, any kind of paint pot moment is gonna be great for this. You do wanna warm your paint pot up. You know, again, I just use my hand. Make sure that the product is warmed up and ready. The only real rule about where your eyebrows end, I think, in my book, is that they should eventually meet up with whatever cat eye that you're going to draw on. I'm going to take a 209, which is actually a lip brush, and put a little bit of this pure white paint stick on it just to clean up the lines around my eyebrow. And this really just kind of helps to define the brow. And I'm going to take a 27, uh, 270S brush here, which is this gorgeous kind of stumpy, round, it's, it, I, it's just designed almost to just like shove it in, which is exactly what I want. We're just packing on top of that brow, and I'm just using, again, the same shade that I was using for my face. So we're gonna set the eyebrow, and I'm wearing a chocolate wig today, so we're gonna go with espresso, which is like a nice, kind of a chocolatey brown. And I'm gonna layer the eyebrow. You could use a bigger eyebrow brush. Uh, you could use any kind of brush that you really want, I guess, but I just prefer the angle brush because I feel like it kind of helps me get between the hairs and really control the shape of my eyebrow. I'm gonna use this amazing contour palette by MAC. Studio Fix. How beautiful is that? Oh my God, look, you might even get a little behind the scenes of what my messy makeup desk looks like. And I like to kind of take them all together at the same time. Like, oh, you know, why, why not all of them? And I'm just gonna tap in basically kind of where I mapped out with my bronzer earlier. This is just gonna make it a little bit more intense, a little bit darker. You know when I start making this face that we're in trouble? I mean, she's, she's coming soon. She'll, she's on her way. To begin with the eyes, we are going to use Painterly, uh, which is the paint pot here. Almost as a, a primer of sorts. It just really helps uh, with creasing, um, if I wasn't on camera, I would be doing this with my fingers, but today I am a professional. This brush black 24 hour liner is the tea. For the girl who knows she will not be home in the next 24 hours. Now I uh, like to cut my crease, which just basically means creating a new eyelid with the same black eyeliner. Um, pretty simple, just kind of following the contour that we had going already. I'm gonna go in on the bottom as well. Now we are going to blend this out. I'm going to use like this nice kind of rusty brown here. I mean, honestly, these shadows are so high quality and blendable. You really, I mean, I always layer with a cream first, you know, but you don't really 
honestly have to with these. We are going with our classic 3D Black Lash in Extreme Dimension. I love this mascara so much. Again, quality products are just gonna make your life easier, girl. Uh, now, MAC makes this amazing lash. Uh, it's called 70, and these are a good drag lash. We always wanna look for length on the end of the eye. I'm gonna stack these and add a little of my own magic just to really push it over the edge. But if you're looking for a drag lash, these are great. I'm also gonna put these on the bottom, uh, which are uh, just seven. So seven on the bottom and 70 on the top is what we're gonna do today. It helps when you wear your own tweezers. <laughs> you can tell she gets real quiet at this point. Don't get too excited, boys. <laughs> she is fully lashed. Now we can move on to blush and lips. This is my favorite part of my face is my blush. I cannot wait any longer to do it. We have to do it right away. This is the T. Now, this is called Frankly Scarlet. Um, I'm taking my 116S. Um, I am getting a little bit too much product on there because why not? And a little bit goes a long way with Frankly Scarlet, okay? She has so much coverage. Take it down here, warm up my jawline just a little bit. And I'm really just pushing it in. I am going to neutralize this just a touch with my other favorite color, Blunt. This would be a gorgeous blush just on its own if you're just kind of going for that naked look. We already prepped and primed our lips. I like to add a lot of dimension to my lip. Um, so for that purpose, I'm also going to use this chestnut lip pencil. And this is just gonna kind of add a little bit of shadow where I need it. Um, I've definitely been on a kick of using the liquid lip colors, which is also great. You can do the retro matte in that as well. But there's nothing just like a classic lipstick. Uh, my favorite highlighter from MAC is Light Scapade. It has been for years. I'm gonna pop it right on the cheekbone here, of course, we wanna make sure that we do this after our blush. And I'm just kind of highlighting the T-zone area. Um, finishing touches here will include just one single stone on each corner of the eye. I'm gonna just use my duo. I just find that this makes all the difference. And we're gonna gloss it with the Plump It Up 1 a.m. Wait, Plump Up The Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to read with these lashes on. All right, and I think that about sums up this face. Of course, we can never forget a little bit of Fix Plus goes a long way, so we are going to go a long way. Now, that is pretty much a face by MAC. Uh, I'm gonna go put on my wig and my boudoir moment, and uh, I'll be right back. <sighs> well, now that I've put my hat on, I can finish my eyebrows. Um, this is a gorgeous, chocolate brown hat. So I'm going to go with Stud, which is the Big Boost Fiber Gel. Basically mascara for my eyebrows. This is a brand new product by MAC and I am obsessed. This is really just going to kind of bring my eyebrow together um, piece by piece, liter literally hair by hair. Um, just a nice finishing touch. You know, you can do this on top of all the glam that we've done today, or you can leave the house wearing just this and it would still be just fine. Well, with some finishing touches here of the eyebrow glam, a little bit of jewelry, some accessories, let's wrap the rest of me up. The face is done, but we are more than just a face. Let's go get dressed. 
Hi, it's me, gorgeous and fully dressed. Well, at least by my standards. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. I really, really feel like we got to know each other doing our makeup together. And let's continue to know each other on social media. Please follow me at Scarlet Envy on Twitter at Scarlet Envy NYC and Patreon Scarlet Envy Official. Also, I shared some tips with you, so now it's your turn. Share your drag tips on Instagram with me using hashtag MacProDrag. I'll see you out there, world. <laughs>